Hey there, my name is Provis. Welcome back to more Surviving Mars Below and Beyond in Maximum Difficulty. Uh, we may have accidentally doomed Earth. I mean, they've got a really nasty infection contained there right now, but, uh, haha. Well, I got many, many years of Plague Inc. Under my, uh, under my belt at this point. I might be considered one of the premier Plague Inc. players in the world, and I can tell you right now, Depending on that infection severity and lethality ratio, uh, if I'm playing this right now in an alternate universe, then Earth is doomed. <laughs> and we're gonna do everything in our power from here in Mars to try and actually save all of humanity, if we can. There's behavioral shaping, so that's gonna get me the sanatorium that gets me my last wonder down over here, Project Morpheus. So at this point, we've now unlocked every tech in the biotech, engineering, robotics, physics, and social tree. So we have a few bre well, breakthrough researches we could do. Now we can really start focusing on things like terraforming and recon and expansion. If we have nothing better to do. If there's any techs in here we want, so yeah, go ahead and knock those out. But for right now, I feel pretty good about what I've got. I mean, we can start working on Project Mohole. It's going to take me a long dang time to be able to build this thing. But we're going to want to be able to do it at some point for absolute sure. Getting the waste rock liquefaction will help toward that goal because I don't know if you've noticed, but mohole mines take a lot of concrete in order to build. So we're gonna need some new sources of that. And we'll start working on it right now. Beyond that though, yeah, Martian born resilience just reduce some of the sanity damage. And then if everyone's gonna be in the green in terms of comfort, morale, health, sanity, well then yeah, why not go for the vocation oriented society and just get 10 extra performance across the board in all jobs. Then rover printing, so that if I do want to start researching things at the elevator, I can explore downstairs, if you know what I mean, and see how things are going to go. I don't know, we got some options for us. The biggest thing is just make sure that we survive the wildfire infection. As long as we don't goof that up really badly, then I think we'll end up being okay. Let's go ahead and, by the way, launch and get this last planetary breakthrough. Not that I need it, but you know what? I've kind of come around to this idea of maybe just getting another, like, 30 medals here and there. Ain't the worst thing in the world, given that fuel is kind of abundant for me. I don't really have a lot of problems with that, so... You know, sure, why not? Or 24 rare medals. Alright, yeah, that's... Not as useful, actually, believe it or not, but it's, it's a thing. Okay, I'm just pretty sure we can't send anything back to Earth. Pretty sure that's literally not allowed, so... Yeah... Yeah, yeah. We, we, we kind of goofed them up. We kind of messed up Earth a lot. I'm sorry. We'll send them a fruit basket and a nice apology letter to la uh, later. Don't, don't you worry. Wildfire, quenching the flames. So far, the bizarre nature of the infection has defeated all of our attempts to stop it. To be fair, I haven't actually unleashed any of my research prowess upon it, so I don't know what you guys have been trying, but... Until you give me an option, I ain't clicking the button. Yet time is growing short as more and more people are getting sick. The challenge would be monumental as our researchers lack any epidemiological data on which to set up. The medical records we've gathered point out the symptoms, but the chemical structure of the agent is so alien that it cannot be compared to anything known to science. To make things worse, the nanoscale of the agent makes analysis even harder. Only by diverting enough resources to the task can we be hoped to make any breakthrough. All right, we now have research available. Every new constructed medical building reduces it. Question, can I build the medical building, then delete it, then build it again? Is that an op... Is, is that an option? Have I just found a way to br Oh my god, 63,000 science! What? Yikesies! Okay, no, that's, that's, that's a bit. That's a lot of science. That would normally take me something like 10 souls to figure out. But I want to test this. So if I go to, let's say it's under services, I think, um, infirmary. It only costs me concrete. One, two, three. Let's just see what happens. If I build these suckers out, do we just get a bunch of research and I can then just start deleting these things and I can just start spending concrete until we cure the disease? It's not... I think it's not how nature expected me to solve the problem, but I mean, I don't know. All right, here's one. Did that do anything? All right, yes, it did. The cost has been reduced. Then we salvage it before people start taking up jobs. New anomalies. Not a breakthrough. You know, the odds of me finding any more breakthroughs at this point feel almost negligible, but, uh, ye. It'd be nice. It'd be nice. Um, anyway, so let's see. We're gonna get another one. That reduces the cost by nada. Uh. Hold up. So, that didn't work. It seems to have realized what I did. 
So let me try building another one to see what happens here. So another one's working. Okay, that did reduce the cost. I'm just curious, by deleting one, did we accidentally increase the cost again so you can't do this? If so, bravo. That's how you want to do it. But let's see. All right, so now we're down even further. Although to be fair, like I'm also like putting a bunch of research into it. Now we're going to try this again. Salvage, I'm going to waste four concrete. So 49,500. 49,500 was the cost. We get rid of this. Cost is still 49,500. So I don't know why it feels like it didn't change before. But it looks like I can keep doing this question mark. Maybe it keeps track of like the maximum number I've been building since then regardless. So hold on, we can test this then. So here's three, turn these all off. No change, no change. Okay, hang on. So then if I were to go back here and do exactly the same thing, I know we're wasting concrete. We're literally chucking some out into space at this point, but now I'm curious. Is it smart enough to say, you've built three. Oh, minus one, minus one again. You built two, guess what? That still brings up to three. Yes, that's exactly how it works. Okay, so you don't need to work it, and no, you can't just delete them, but you have to keep building new ones and then just leaving them here. Fascinating. Okay, um, well, we're gonna go for a doink and a doink, and we're gonna go for a... Let's see if I can fit this. Doink, doink, doink. Yes, Infirmary Megaplex. We're not using any of them. That is not the point. It is all about getting that free science. That's all I care about. See, now we've reduced the cost down to only 18,000. Okay, and see, this is reasonable again. Now I don't see any reason to hold on to these, so we can go ahead and start deleting them again and just recover at least 40% of my concrete. And that's how that's gonna work. And it shouldn't increase the cost back up at all. All right. You know what? That was reasonable, though. We definitely made some, some serious headway toward the disease. We knocked off probably about 50% of its cost or something like that. And it only came at the cost of something like, I don't know, 40 or so, 50, 60-ish concrete? Somewhere in that ballpark. Well worth it. Well worth it to shave off something on the order of like 40,000 science. Uh-oh. The infection level appears to have increased. All right. It's spreading on Earth at an alarming rate, threatening entire populations all over the globe. The grim prediction is that soon the entire population of the planet will be affected. Scientists on Earth are desperately trying to discover a solution, but so far in vain. The virulence, or virulence, sorry, of the local strain is so high that sampling and transporting infected material is a death sentence. The nanoscopic size of the agent makes containment equally hard. Biological filters fail to stop it effectively, threatening the safety of any laboratory which attempts to study it. The only solution is to analyze the original strain, the one we have on Mars, and find a cure. Time is running short. Meanwhile, third world countries are in a state of panic as wildfire strikes the poorest communities. Waves of refugees flee the affected regions, and many resource operations are simply abandoned. The market feels the hunger for raw resources and multiple demands have been filed for imports, from Mars. Infection level has reached the endemic. Export prices have increased the next 15 souls. Oh, really? So you're telling me that I can make even more money? You're telling me that this is literally good for business? Oh. So here's the thing, though. I could ship some of my copious amounts of rare metals and bring it back to Earth. I could do that. But here's the thing. I think we're going to have a cure discovered within the next day or so. In which case, I bet you I have to manufacture something and then send it back. In which case, I probably shouldn't take advantage of the prices. So my capitalistic instincts say milk this for all it's worth. We can get a load of money. And yet, I don't think I can morally justify it, says the person who literally sends uh, elderly into an airlock. But that's beside, not, that's beside the point. Ugh, I think I'm gonna have to be the good guy. I hate to do it, but I, I think I'm gonna have to be the good guy. There we go, we have a cure. All right, tremendous news. The cure for the disease has been discovered. A genetically modified strain of the Martian wildfire in for, uh, interfaces with the RNA of the virus and effectively stops it from coagulating the blood plasma of the host. The intake of only a small amount of the cure is enough to halt the development of the disease, even though it wouldn't repair the tissue damage suffered so far. 
the scientists experimented with multiple growth mediums and discovered that the most effective way to proliferate the medicine is by introducing it in the mold cells growing on potatoes. This is great news because we can provide enough biomass for the modified mold to grow and if we do it quickly, we can still stand a chance to end the suffering on Earth. The cure tato crop has become available. Harvesting it will produce cure for the wildfire infection, which in turn has to be exported to Earth to end the crisis. What? Okay. Cure tatoes. Huh? Cure tatoes. Huh? All right. Tell you what. We're going to do a little... Wow, these look weird. They take up a lot of my soil quality. That bites, but okay. Yes. Um, let's go ahead and start uh, attaching some cure tatoes into the mix. And I probably, at least temporarily, should have an extra farm... Literally for the purpose of cover crops and cure tatoing people. That seems like a worthwhile thing. New Messiah. Am I God? I could be. If you want me to be, I'll be God. What's this? Hang on. There's a religious prophet trying to convince our colonists to a new cult. Of course I get the cult events. This person from the colony of China claims to be a Messiah and a miracle worker gathering an increasing number of followers. They wanted him to come to our colony and convert it. Um, okay. Gain a guru and 12 religious renegades. Lose religious colonists and 25 standing. 25 of all religious become renegades. I have a lot of rene uh, religious. But I could gain tw 12 religious colonists if we do it. So, I mean... I wish there was a quick way for me to simply see who is, like, religious and, like, what percentage of my population I'm really messing with. I don't want to lose a bunch of pops. I guess... I guess I do this. It sounds like it doesn't convert my own pops. I just get 12 people who are useless. That's kind of what I'm getting out of it. I guess we'll allow it. I need you all to work in the farms, please, and start getting me some cure tatos. How much does cover crops get me, by the way? 40%. Yeah, we can do cure tatoes, then another cover crop after that. All right. Well, let's start solving this whole cure thing. Gosh, dang, all the people back on Earth are going to be like, Oh, we're all dying! I'm like, I have the cure! You do? Praise be unto Mars! And I'll be like, it's a bunch of moldy potatoes! What? Yep, that's that's basically how I see this going down. But uh, actually, you know, as far as um, mystery events on hard difficulties goes... This hasn't really been the worst so far. This has kind of seemed doable, if I'm completely honest. 20 homeless people? That's ridiculous. All right, hang on. Um, we can solve that at least temporarily to a degree. With the placement of living quarters in these areas, they're not the most space efficient, but they'll solve the immediate issue. Some colonists are earth sick. Then get the heck out of here. I don't even care. I don't even want you here. Just go. Just go away. Stop bothering me. Stop sucking up my air and my food. Go away. All right, so now we're working on cure tatoes. Cure tatoes take five souls in order to grow. Is Earth going to pay me for this cure? Because they really should. By the way, is there like a button? Rare metals. Is there a button specifically for cure tatoes? I'm a little worried I'm going to mess this up, and I'm going to allow uh, exports, but it's going to send the wrong stuff. You know, I've changed my mind about launching some exports back to Earth. If it's going to take me several days to grow these potatoes, we might as well just go ahead and take advantage of some extra money while it's still here, right? Wings of Salvation, a cargo rocket is on its way to gather... Oh, they send a rocket to me! Oh, okay. And the people of Earth depend on our effort to create a steady supply. Okay, so good. Then I guess this doesn't come back to haunt me at all. We absolutely should be taking advantage of as many exports as possible. They send rockets. I load it up with the cure and fuel. So I don't have to worry about the correct export button at all. It's a special type of rocket. Got it. Everything suddenly makes a heck of a lot more sense. Waste rock relocation is about to be done, by the way. Which is going to let me start getting a lot more consistent concrete, at least for a while. Huzzah. Uh, let's see. We're definitely having some serious issues with homelessness here. Um, 
Okay, something I could do, and this is gonna be a bit controversial, but we could start sending some renegades over here. Regardless of age and encourage them to sort of, I don't know, start dying. I don't really want anyone else to come live here. It's purely a matter of getting renegades into this area. Let's see if this works. As long as my population uh, rate of increase is higher than the number of people dying, i.e. higher than one per soul in this dome, that's fine, but we do have a whopping 26 renegades in the dome right now, which is kind of a fair number so yeah if we can if we can start getting rid of that and just sending them off to die we'll end up having a more productive uh, workplace and we can solve our homelessness issue uh, because I'm kind of out of space as far as like growing anything uh, unless I want to start tearing apart some buildings in favor of a tunnel into a new dome which I guess I could do but like eh. oh good thank you for sabotaging the electronics store that nobody uses. All right, fine. You know what? That helps, actually, in some ways. You've saved me a small issue. We'll just go ahead and place down some more living quarters. How's that? There. Problem solved. The Eternal Summer has arrived and is requesting... Oh, right. It's the billionaires again. Well, you know what? I got lots of machine parts and electronics, so by all means, I was kind of expecting it to be this. You're asking for 60 potatoes? You want 60? Already? All I can get you is, like, 40. Best I can do. And that's with me being really good at my job. Oy. All right. Um, this is gonna, oh boy, this is gonna suck. We're gonna have to rework a lot of our soil quality and somehow float on food for a while. I'm a little concerned about whether we're gonna have some food issues, but we're trying, we're trying, dang it. Maybe we'll make it. Okay, here comes the other rocket from Earth. Oh, wow. Double the impact from exports? Oh, frickin' heck yes. All right, launch this and bring it back ASAP. If I can get another round of that in, that'd be amazing. Holy crud. All right, so we'll load you up with fuel. We need 60 before you're gonna be willing to leave, huh? You're gonna have to wait for at least another five or six souls in order to have all of that, I'm afraid. And I don't think I'm able to launch you with a partial uh, load. It has to be a full 60. All right. So there's the vocation-oriented society taken care of. I'm going to go ahead and start working on rover printing in case I want to get some extra RC commanders, explorers, and so on. We'll want to get dozers at some point as well. Once this is done, we can start making some rapid progress toward getting our elevator up and running, which could be kind of nice. And then if I have any extra, uh, you know, stuff to work on, then sure, we'll go ahead and... We'll go ahead and start working on getting ourselves the mohole, because um, I am producing enough concrete at this point, thanks to some of these waste rock processors, that we can actually start building that at some point soon. We also have enough polymers that maybe I want to consider building up a diamond dome, and maybe just build it up over here, and say, forget it, let's just go ahead and get research sites, lots of rare metals, we'll get some of those, um, we'll get some of those delicious network spires and turning into a super science place. You know, those are all the things we could do. Okay, first round of Curtatoes are out and about. So, one more load of this should be enough to get us going. We'll have to start working on food and stuff shortly after that, probably. Uh, we're going to continue working on food here for now. These guys are working on Curtatoes as well. We should be able, I think, between both of these farms, get up to the 60 that is needed, because we only need 20. Heck, one more of these is probably going to be enough. I assume they're going to ask me to do this at least a couple more times. Uh, so I don't- oh, good lord. I don't want to assume that once we've launched this first rocket, I can just go ahead and demolish this farm. I'd love to, if nothing else, for the sake of housing, but I don't think we can safely assume that. Let's, by the way, go ahead and get rid of this garden to make way for a little bit more homes over here. I don't know. Real estate on Mars is apparently at one heck of a premium all of a sudden. Oh, by the way, 200 pops. Hey! Okay, we can build rovers. Um, we should go ahead and build up a explorer rover and probably also a commander rover. Both of those will be necessary for the underground. If I can research the dozer tech, that'd be great as well. We are gonna rapidly knock out some of the elevator and lighting tech, all of which is gonna be necessary. Um, what else could I possibly be making use of? You know, I wouldn't mind researching greenhouse gases. It does unfortunately take up fuel. But, 
You know, we've been doing fine on fuel, and if I can start gradually increasing the temperature and reducing the severity of cold Research waves, complete. I wouldn't mind doing that. There's a low G shafts. Sweet. Oh, this is a really bad time for a dust storm. I'm already consuming a lot of water on extra farming, and all of a sudden, my water uh, storage is kind of not looking great. Um, gosh dang it, these leaks sure as heck ain't helping now, are they? Um, I am trying to run an amplified water extractor at all times just to minimize that, hence why I built up a wind turbine just to keep this sucker running, but it's still struggling quite a bit just to keep my uh, water afloat. Every one of these leaks is just such a life-threatening thing right now. And someone stole a cured potato? Oh, that. That right there, that right there is one, sort of smart, but definitely a death sentence. And I mean that by literally whoever, if I can find you, I am sentencing you to death. Oh my gosh, that came down to the wire. I only had 78 water left for most of my population. <sighs> Whew. Oh boy, that was really gonna be bad. All right, so we loaded up cured potatoes, and now that the dust storm is gone and flight conditions are normal, off they go again. Okay. Godspeed! Give my regards to Earth. I pray this actually is enough. Um, are you sending... You are sending another rocket. Okay. No, that's... That's good. Um, well, um, by the time that you get here, um, I'm not sure that I'm gonna have enough potatoes... But, I'll get as many as I can as quick as I can, don't you worry. Oh, I just tried to launch a rocket and now there's a problem! A rocket exploded! You're kidding me! You actually blew up the trailblade- Frick you! Buy another rocket for three billion dollars. Yup. Gosh! Dang it! This is why I'm trying to mass execute my renegades. This is exactly the reason why! I am gonna start gradually building up the molehole mine over here. It's gonna take a lot of materials. I probably can't do it all at once, so we're gonna start running into issues, but we can at least get some resources delivered, give us a chance to kind of rebuild, and then go back on out there. Nine homeless people? How can nine people be homeless right now? I, I just, I, there are no births. People shouldn't be, there shouldn't be homeless people. What is going on here? Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know exactly what's happening here. I am very concerned about our food situation. One more round of fruit trees at least helps a little bit. Let me guess, the metals are finally gone. They are. Let's go ahead and turn this sucker on and rebuild. We need to keep enough metals going for a bit. Oh good, and a cold wave is on the way. Excellent, yes, says. Absolutely something I wanted to see. Um, although, bizarrely enough, there are worse things, frankly. I, I, I think we're kind of reaching a point where you could argue the dust storms are more disruptive and dangerous to me than a simple cold wave at this point. I don't know if that's a stupid assertion, but it's one you could certainly make. Come on, more people need to die. What is going on over here? Do I, do I, do I need to get rid of... You know what? Hang on. What if I just place down an extra living quarter, let's say, over here? So we can have eight people over here at a time. Right? I need to kill off my seniors, and especially my renegades, faster. So we can solve our housing issues. Terraforming subsidies. That was worth money. Also, there's the carbonate processors. Wow, that takes a lot of, uh, concrete. Yeah, yeah, that that's not cheap. Oh, boy. Um, I want to start improving atmosphere. But it sure as heck do look to me like that's not a thing I'm gonna be able to do for at least a little while. Okay. What about uh, what about the whole greenhouse gas factory? We can definitely do that. Yeah, yeah. And also, we can even place a convenience little storage depot for fuel right over here, which will keep our shuttles going as well as, nice and clean using the triple electric scrubber, start processing some uh, uh, greenhouse gases into the atmosphere and gradually increasing temperature. It's going to take a very long time, but it's a thing we could start to do. For real, though, people need to get over here. Asteroids have been discovered! Uh-huh. Cool. So, I can't do anything about this, because I still don't have a rocket that can go there, because I never got to buy one, because it costs too much money, because guess who blew up my other rocket? I'm gonna go ahead and buy one, though. Why not? Let's just go ahead and start sending it back home. It's it's probably time for us to do that now anyway, right? 
I mean, I don't know, but remember, we haven't really had a chance to be playing around yet with the, um, we haven't had a chance to play around yet with Below and Beyond in this maximum difficulty run. I wonder if that'll be enough to actually keep us afloat in terms of gathering medals for a while. Maybe that could sustain us. Oh, we actually finished all of our research. Crud. Uh, I should probably do something about that. What's this over here? Reduce sanity from living and working underground doesn't do me a whole lot of good. Increase the service range of drone hubs a bit is actually kind of nice to have under all circumstances, so I'm good with some of that. Um, reducing travel time could be nice. We're going to get recon centers at some point if we want to do any of this. Anything else here more important, though? How about... How about increased shuttle cargo capacity? And actually the large-scale excavator. Because I'm willing to bet that I'm going to need some higher concrete production values soon. We have a lot that is being used up on this molehole mine right now. An absolute ton. And somehow, I'm going to need a lot more concrete production. I don't think we're going to get that just from these waste rock processors. They can only do me so much. So... Yeah. We're also, apparently, just straight out not having enough drones in this area. We have a very heavy workload and nothing good is coming out of it. Well, if I place down an extra drone hub, that would also solve issues. It's a bit of an expensive solution, but I got loads of electronics, so... Sure. Wrong address. Several supply pods in orbit have signaled readiness to execute guided landing protocols. It looks like it belonged to China. Huh. Um, you know what? I don't like China, so I'm fine with this. Thank you. Oh my gosh, you guys ordered a whole load of electronics and stuff. I have no use for your electronics, but as a matter of principle, there's no way in heck I'm giving it back to you. Even machine parts, too. How nice. Oh, uh, China's all gonna form, like, file, like, a diplomatic complaint or something, but, like, do I care? Uh-uh. No, I do not. I do not care even a little bit. Okay, we got some rare metals. Apparently, whenever the infection level goes back down to contained... Uh, we do not get the extra price for rare metals. That is unfortunate and also good to know. I also hadn't even noticed this went from endemic down to contained. I'm guessing every rocket reduces one infection level stage. This probably would have gotten to a much higher level of infection required like three or four rockets. But because we researched the cure so fast, we can get away with it for a bit longer. And by the way, yeah, I am taking a break from getting more cure potatoes because I have got to start getting some food. Otherwise, my own population is going to die. And guess what? As much as I would love to send this stuff back to you, you don't send food to me. Look at the food gradually going down. You see how fast it's going away? That's why we have to do this. I don't have a choice. So the cure will have to wait. The people of Mars must come first. That said, if we can get just barely above 20... Ooh, it's gonna be close. I think we're gonna be like literally one or two cure potatoes short. <gasps> the renegades. It's all gonna be that one renegade who stir a cure, oh, stole a cure tato. He's gonna kill all of Earth. Well, the mole hole is being built. We are now starting to have starving colonists all across the base. Um, it's gonna be a little bit while before these fruit trees are ready. We are in danger of losing a handful of colonists here and there that were not intended. Uh, that is all the more reason I need to be getting the renegades the heck out of here and send them off to die so they don't consume any more of my food. We should probably turn off births again for a bit since I have 16 kids. The birth rate's gonna be all messed up right now, but that's just gonna be what it's gonna be. Um, I'm trying to work on, whoop, one last round of this cure potatoes over here. It's going to be a few more souls, and then we'll be fine. It says we have 7.9 stored up right now. Yeah, that's barely not going to be enough. No, nope, no one else has anything there. And with one wonder down, we have officially constructed a wonder and get 5,000 free science as a result. Huzzah! It's currently unpowered, um, which we can fix. Probably, and as long as this thing is only running during the day, we should easily be able to support it making use of our super powerful large solar panels. And the thing about this, unfortunately, is it's not the most useful thing in the world. You get a lot of metals per soul. There comes a point in the game where you need something more like a hundred. You want to get that, you can. All you have to do is start expanding the mohol. But as you may have noticed, it costs 200 machine parts then 400, 
then 800 in order to get this up there. Then it starts producing ridiculous amounts, and this will sustain you for the rest of the game. So, yeah, this is really good to have. Really good to have. Um, but it's also really expensive. We should make sure we increase the range of this, by the way. Try to reduce that power consumption back down to 40. By 40, I mean to say. Um, i pull you back by one more hex. Is that okay, or is that... Is that not going to cut it? Nope, died. that's good enough. Okay, and it looks like we are now finishing up that cold wave. Thank God. Okay, so the mole hole's up and running. All we got to do is build up a power cable, which people should be able to do. I can now definitely start producing a lot more machine parts. I will happily start storing ridiculous amounts of machine parts because any excess just is going to go over here. Please, for the love of God, finish growing this food fast. I'm starting to see where this scenario, um, this particular mystery gets rough. It's mainly in the form of we lose a lot of food potential while trying to cure Earth. Alrighty then, and what else are we working on as far as research? Right, we wanted to have better asteroids and stuff. I mean, at any point now, we could go ahead and launch after the um, first asteroid that we have discovered. We don't have a lot of time there. It does apparently have some exotic minerals, rare metals, and polymers, and so on. I don't think it's a very high priority, but it is a thing we can do. Something else we are going to need... Uh, if I can remember where to find it, is a recon center. There you are. We have not researched that yet. That's next after this. Okay. So pretty soon we'll get this. We can have people start scouting out some additional asteroids, and we can see if we can extract any extra materials from the asteroids. Don't forget, if we work all the way down here to recon and expansion, we can start turning any of our buildings into prefabs rather than demolishing them, which will make asteroids so very, very much more um, uh, cost efficient. It is absolutely worth doing if we can. So yeah, we'll continue working down that tree, really start committing onto this. In the meantime, we've risen the temperature of the planet by about 3%. Whee! It's not enough, but whee nonetheless. Gosh, sometimes I really wish we had Soylent back so I could start processing my dead into food. But oh well, um, Renegade's down to only 5 instead of 20-something. Definitely helping, and in another soul will have food. If people can just survive a little bit longer, we'll be fine. But this is the first time we've actually lost population for a while. And it does kind of hurt. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.